Hello everybody, and today is Monday, so you know what that means. Wow Monday, once again. Uh, last time we left off, I was just getting to level 5, and today we're going to be getting hopefully to level 10. Depends on how long this video runs. Um, I don't want it to run too far, or too long, sorry. Um, before I get started, uh, at the end of my last video I was talking about how me and my dungeon master are going to play a solo game with just me playing the character on our uh, RPG tabletop uh, day. Well, I forgot that I was going to go see Santa with my daughter and everything, so that took all day, so we didn't really have time to make that video. So hopefully sometime soon I need to get in contact with them. We'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to play. So expect a video pretty soon, hopefully. I'm not going to make any promises, but expect a video hopefully pretty soon. Um, so yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and hop back into it. Uh, we have two quests. Let's see where they're at. They're both way the heck over here. So one of my favorite things about WoW is probably the music. I'm a big music buff. I love any kind of music. Uh, so whenever a music ties in the game, um, I'm very impressed with it. And this music, you know, it's a very aggressive here because you are playing as a orc. They're aggressive. They like to kill stuff. They're, you know, they're mean. They're mean, lean, mean killing machines. Um, and then if you go over to the to the night elf place, it's kind of more calm and you know all that good stuff. Uh, so they, they did a really good job with the music in my opinion and I have I don't know if YouTube will let me but I'm gonna try to uh, I have the collector's edition for World of Warcraft uh, Warlords of Draenor and I have the CD with that and I'm gonna see if I can uh, just play a couple of my favorite tracks from that and let you guys listen to it and tell me what you guys think about it uh, so hopefully that will be a thing uh, it might not let me upload it because of because of uh, you know copyright agreements and stuff like that. So, but uh, fingers crossed. So I listened to my videos last time, and I noticed a lot of whenever I say p, like p sounds and stuff like that. It, you know, what am I supposed to do? Okay, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Kill these guys. And buy a up a little bit. So anyways, I got a little windscreen on my microphone now, so hopefully it's not making so much noise, and you can hear me a little clearer. So that'd be cool. Um, I was looking all over. I'm, in, I'm from a kind of small town. Um, oh, excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> excuse me, sorry, I'm burping. But I'm from a pretty small town in Florida uh, that doesn't have very much. It has Walmart, Radio Shack, Staples, Kmart, Big Lots, what else? And then they have a couple not very good mom and pop places that you can buy computer supplies, graphic cards, and stuff like that. And whenever I say graphic cards, I mean like bottom of the barrel graphic cards. So finding even the littlest things, like a little micro... Uh, a little foam microphone cover is just a pain in the butt. Luckily, I let my brother-in-law borrow mine, so I was able to, or borrow one of my headsets that had uh, had those on it. So I was able to. Um, what am I? Oh, that's how I'm supposed to be killing. I'm killing the wrong thing. Sorry. Uh, so luckily, I was able to get a little microphone cover. I'm just killing random stuff. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking to you guys. Which is fine. I like taking a while a little bit slower. Uh, some people like playing it, go straight from quest to quest. I like listening to each of the dialogues, you know, all that good stuff. Doing as many quests as I can without it being too weak of a level for me. But that's personally just how I run games. I like storyline more than I like action adventure kind of stuff. But don't get me wrong, I do like action adventure. Where is this thing? 
I remember last time I tried to get this and it was a pain in the butt. It's been a while since I've played an orc. So, oh, that's how. Oh, yeah, you kill that guy. Like right now, he's level 5, but he's really easy, so I might actually move forward a little bit if the game will let me. Uh, just so I'm more up to level and I can gain experience a little bit faster and stuff like that. But it's all in how you play and who you are determines what kind of gameplay you are. You do. Let's see if I can find any more of these guys that aren't dead. And I've been trying to find different games to play with you guys and stuff like that. I don't really have very much money right now, but hopefully soon I will. So I'll be able to play some games. Like I got Minecraft, but there's a million Minecraft videos out there. I'm sure there's a million WoW videos, but hey, I like WoW. Leave me alone. Um, so I just got Minecraft for PC, and that will probably be more or less when I do my actual talking and stuff because I have one subject that is very touchy it's about a certain game I'm not gonna go into it yet because later on this week I'm probably gonna make a video about it um, it's gonna be kind of a rant but not really a rant but it's about a certain game that is rated M and my nephew who is five years old was asking about it and trying to get it for Christmas from my mom which is his grandma obviously but uh, <clears throat> he was trying to get that for Christmas from Santa and I just thought it was crazy. So, like I said, I'll get more into that in my Minecraft videos because I'm I feel more comfortable talking without you guys looking at me, I guess. I don't know. Um I'm kind of shy guy. But I tried to make the video with my webcam and I just went into this it's probably about a good 20, 30 minute rant about that certain game and stuff and I don't really want to rant about games because I'm so passionate about video games and I think they're all art and everything so I don't want to really bash anything but there's certain games that five year olds shouldn't be playing in my opinion but we're gonna go turn in these quests real fast and hopefully get out of this area pretty soon um, I've been trying to find a capture card again. It's so it's such a pain in the butt. And the biggest or the nearest big town is about I don't know an hour and a half away, maybe with a Best Buy. So I can't find a capture card anywhere. And I want to do some SNES stuff like. Super Mario World and uh, Samus and uh, or Metroid, sorry, and all that good stuff. So, and I'll do time. But enough about other games. Let's get into WoW. So finally, we're able to get out of this little uh, Valley of the Trials, which is just the um, main little starting zone for uh, orcs. Which, the glorious thing about WoW is, you know, most games, if you, like most RPGs, if you pick one character, you're going to be in their starting zone the whole time. So, like, I don't know, I can't think of any good games right now. I guess Dragon Age, if you pick, I, I haven't really played Dragon Age, so I can't really use that as an example. That's another game that I want to play with you guys, because I've never played it. Um, but anyways, instead of having to start in the same starting zone all the time, if you want to make the journey, you can start in pretty much any starting zone as long as it's either Alliance or uh, Horde. So, like, I got tired of doing the Night Elf because I, for some reason, I like Night Elves. But, anyways, I wanted to do the human starting zone, but I didn't want to play a human, I wanted to play a Night Elf. So I walked all the way from, um, what is that place called? I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, I started, I mean, I walked from the Night Elf uh, starting zone all the way to the human starting zone, and I just picked up the quest line and played there. So, gave me a new experience with the same characters. And like right here, I think, I 
think this is area. Let me look. Yeah, I think if you walk from right here, and if you wanted to play from the troll, because I think that's where the trolls are right there. If you wanted to play the orc story, I mean starter zone, all you have to do is walk from there to there, and you can play the orc starting zone, or vice versa. So I'm gonna pick up this quest. How may I serve? And if there's anything that I can do in my commentaries, uh, this is the I first do. time I've ever done commentaries be before, so if there's anything that I can do to improve myself, I always love to hear you guys' opinions and all that good stuff. So just leave it down in the comment below and I'll take a look at it and try to improve myself. I know I have issues saying um a little bit. Uh, it's not as bad as some people that I've heard, but I still need to stop doing that. And I don't go scripted. I think that's a waste of time whenever you can just look around and find something to talk about. Like, hey, there's a crab. I'm going to go kill it and uh, do other stuff with it. Well, that sounds kind of wrong, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, he's dead. Back here, buddy. There we go. So, like I said last time, at the very beginning, there's a lot of grinding. There's not much storyline. The storyline really doesn't start until you start doing dungeons and raids and all that good stuff, um, and pick up big quest lines and all that. Most of it's pretty grindy, but that's what makes WoW so addicting. It's too far away. Bam. And I should be able to make more videos soon. I'll make some... I'm going to be doing a Ragnaros raid uh, for the 10th anniversary of WoW. Um, but I'll be able to do more videos soon. Uh, my work is actually a seasonal job. Obviously in my name it's Chefy, so I'm a chef at a seasonal place. So I'll be able to do more videos during the little Christmas break. Uh, I have, when is it, from December, I think my last day is the 19th, 18th or 19th. So all the way from December 18th or 19th to, uh, to the 7th think. Let me check my calendar real fast. Just looking for crabs. Yeah, the 7th of uh, January. So. I could just spend more time with you guys and my family. Darn it. And that will give me an Dungeon Master Blobe, a little bit more time to get some stuff organized. Him and my other friends are have been playing a lot of tabletop lately, and whenever they get into it, they get into it, my friends. Um, it's fun, though. It's fun to watch them. I actually called them on Skype and watched them play, and that was really fun. It's like watching a TV show, almost. Level six already. And I'm extremely sorry for last time I did my videos. I was trying to upload it, and I know it's supposed to be Monday night thing. I mean Monday thing, but I record on Mondays and then I post them on Sundays. Usually I try to I try to do it on Mondays, but usually with my job and stuff I have to go in and then. I can't really post it until I come back from work. Uh, so last time, I'm new to YouTube and, you know, doing any kind of videos on YouTube and everything. Well, I was using Fraps, and if you've ever used Fraps before, you know that they make extremely large file sizes for some reason. So whenever I split the two videos up, 
it was like 20 minutes each, I think, roughly around 30, 30 minutes each. And uh, whenever I tried to upload it, it was 89 gigabytes each, I think, somewhere around there. And oh my goodness, it took forever to get on YouTube and I went to sleep and I got back up and whenever I got back up, it was at 1% whenever I woke up. I was like, oh my goodness, there's got to be a quicker way. So I did some research and I got a compressor. So I compress my videos, that takes about 30 minutes, and then I compress, or I put it on YouTube, and then that takes about another 30 minutes. So hopefully it shouldn't take too much longer anymore. It still takes me a while to get, if I have to split my videos up, it takes me a while because I can't load one while I'm posting, or while I'm uh, compressing one. So it takes a little bit longer if I have to split it up, but that's only if I have interruptions. Come on guys, spawn. There's some. Dang it. You're mine, fool. Alright, I'm gonna go in this little camp. I'm trying to get the boxes and the uh, the crates and the people, but if I go in here it'll be a little bit faster to get the ten lugs and then come back and get the crates. F this guy, and he did kill, didn't kill them all. Looks like he did. Oh no, there's one. Oh, I guess there's not lugs in here. No mind. Like I said, it's been a while, so just rangers. Speaking of rangers, that made me think of Aragorn, which made me think of. Lord of the Rings, who else is excited for the new Hobbit movie coming out on the 17th? I won't be able to watch it the first day it comes out, but shortly after that, me and my wife are going to go see that. Hopefully she'll put on her elf ears and all that good stuff, and we are definitely going to go see that. I'm excited. I'm more excited for it to come out on DVD than I am for it to come out in theater. Um, because then I can have a giant Lord of the Rings just marathon. Like, three day marathon or something like that. Gosh darn it. Everybody's farming these quests tonight, of course. Okay. Come on, people. I guess a lot of people wanted to make orcs tonight. Oh, excuse me. Uh, last night, <clears throat> it was pretty funny. My wife texts me at work, and she says, You know what your daughter just said to me? I said, What? She says, I want to watch Harry Potter because I love Harry Potter. That did my heart some justice. There's nothing like hearing your daughter say that she wants to watch Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings and all that good stuff. Just knows that I'm raising her right. Makes me makes me know that. Davo. All right. Sweet. Now all I need to do is kill couple more of these people. That's not mine. Uh, and of course they had to be hunters and shamans and uh, druids and all that good stuff. Or they are spellcasters. So they're going to hit them a little bit faster than me if I can't get a... Dang it. I got one. I got one. to be like on top of them. Uh, like I said, starting out brand new fresh is kind of annoying, but once you get to, I don't know, I want to say level 20, but it's probably around level 40 is whenever it gets more fun because it's not like everybody's doing the same quests like this. There's one, two, three, four, five people doing the same quest. It's not like that once you hit level 40. 
So, right now, these little quests are going to be more boring than... I mean, these videos are going to be a little bit more boring, but... This is for the newer people, so... The more experienced are probably going to be bored of their mind watching these videos if they watch them. Um, but, once I get up higher levels, uh, I'll come back to these videos and put links down to the other videos so the the, the more leveled, more experienced uh, people can just automatically go to them instead of watching these boring, boring videos. But it's a long road to hoe. Get out of here, guys. There we go. <laughs> you fools. You thought you had something against a warrior. Not if I have something to say about it. And you'll see these rocks around um, later on once I get to uh, what is it, Orgrimmar. Uh, I'll tell you more about them. But you have to have what they call professions, uh, and you can get mining, tailoring, um, jewel crafting, all kinds of stuff. I'll I'll go over them. I might do another video and just go over each one of them. So in my Monday night games. I don't have to, you know, stop what I'm doing and... Oh, my daughter's in here. But I don't have to stop what I'm doing and explain everything. And then my video goes from a 30-minute video to an hour-long video. So, I'll just do that uh, on one of my other characters. Or whenever I get into Orgrimmar. Just explain each one of them. And you can only have two main professions. But you can only have two main professions. Oh, my daughter came back in here, sorry. Uh, like always, my daughter will barge in here at any moment and Spirits hang out with me and stuff like that, so. Alright, let's see. Sample a sample of a scorpion venom collected. Okay, let's go find that. But anyways, you can have two main professions and then you can get cooking. What is it? Cooking... What are they? I can't remember off the top of my head. And there you're like secondary, and you can get as many of those as you want. But things like tailoring and uh, uh, jewel crafting, you can only have one of each of those. Uh, so you can only have two main professions and then as many as you want side professions. Well, where are you? This one. Okay. I think I have to weaken it down first, if I remember right. Oh god. Oh lord. Why did I do that? Probably gonna end up killing him now. Yep. How did I know? Alright, there we go. Well, he's dead. Let's go ahead and do a quick pet battle. My guy's gonna one shot him, two shot him. But might as well. I'm waiting for some of these scorpions to respawn. There we go. Pet battling, I'm telling you, man. That is so fun if you're a Pokemon fan. Uh, they even have, like, trainers or if you want to call them gym leaders uh, that you can find it's actually a quest line once you get started into pet training oh my goodness this is just so fun and you know if you are just starting out and you get a pet and you get a couple pets that you actually like make sure you train up your pets because later on in the game once you get to Draenor and everything and you get your garrison you can get a pet training uh, facility but what I've heard I haven't got it yet because my pets are kinda low level compared to others but hold on but anyways I heard that you have to battle this lady that is super hard and you know pain in the butt to get and uh, but after or pain in the butt to beat and after you beat her, you get the pet training place. 
and I don't know exactly what it entails. Um, my thing about games, like new expansions, new games and everything, is I don't read up on them until it's actually out, so I haven't even read up on it or done any research on the garrisons that much yet. So, later on I will though. Uh, later on whenever I do an interview, I mean, a review on my garrison and show you what professions and stuff that I have at my garrison, I'll show you, uh, I'll uh, actually do some research on it so I know a little bit more for you guys so you guys don't have to do the research I don't want you guys to work for work for gaming it's all about fun sometimes gaming is kind of work though like trying to get armor and leveling up but still we do it because we want to and it's fun Yeah, you guys, uh, just down in the comments, if you want to tell me what kind of games you guys like and recommend some games for me to play, uh, I'm newer to the PC spectrum, um, so I'm looking for recommendations. Oops, forgot to put down my totem. Alright, well I'm waiting for these guys to spawn and some other people might kill them, but I'm going to go back over here and go ahead and do these two quests. Try to do them at the same time and then I'll come back and do the scorpion. And you might be looking at the warrior and looking at whatever class you're playing and saying, man, these guys are weak. Like spellcasters, especially playing by yourself, you're going to be like, man, I just keep on dying and these people are weak. I can't get good armor for them, all that good stuff. But trust me, just stick with the person that you're with and just keep on playing and trucking through it. And later on, let me go ahead and help this guy out. I don't even care that he stole my kill. But anyways, later on in the game... Uh, your casting won't be any faster as, as a spellcaster or anything like that, but your spells become a lot more stronger. You have better uh, spells and all that good stuff. Let me help him out again. Nothing wrong with a little bit of uh, help every once in a while. Not enough people do that. Uh, but one, the main thing is, like, you have to, you don't have to find a group. You can solo stuff and all good stuff like that, but raids and dungeons, you have to be with other people. So you kind of got to play your character like that. You got to kind of play your character where, hey, I'm going to be level 20 uh, soon, and I'm going to be playing dungeons and raids and stuff like that. So I might as well go ahead and uh, play my character out like I'm going to be in that raid or, I mean, in that uh, guild or whatever. Because if you sit there and play it like you're in single player the whole time, then once you get into the raid or the group, whatever, um, oops, I forgot to get whatever was over here. But uh, once you get into that group, you won't be prepared and you're going to be following over people. And I haven't played that many groups or anything like that, so I'm actually at fault for for this. But oh, there it is. But it just makes it easier to adjust to playing in a group if you've never played in a group before to just kind of hone your skills and do your abilities and like look at skills and all that good stuff but don't copy and paste what other people are doing either because that just takes out of the gameplay aspect so like if I'm building a warrior don't build a warrior just like me just because it looks good that way and build it however you want because that's what makes the game fun kind of have that independence like there's only so many uh, ways to build a character but hey do it your way but anyways like whenever you're playing um, and you're a spellcaster and you're in a group you can't do like how you normally would do and like you know the guy's gonna come at you 
and so you're just gonna rambo it and just go in there guns a blazing whenever you're playing in a group you have that tank that can sit back and wail on the guy while you're sitting there in the back uh, doing spell casting and if you're a healer healing the people so just keep all that in mind and play however you want to play but just also remember that if you want to really have fun the best way is to be in a group and hey if you are younger and you're in school and you don't have as many friends this is actually a really really good way to build uh, friendships with people um, finding some people on WoW and talking to them online and all that good stuff just like on Xbox Live um, you can build better friendships that way like with <clears throat> my three friends that I have right now well two of them because one of them is my brother-in-law and I've always just been able to talk to him and everything in general but uh, with the other two I didn't really have time to go over there and see him and all that good stuff so we really built our friendship at first off of playing online games and uh, just talking to each other over online stuff and then I started playing WoW with them or not WoW, D&D sorry and so that's whenever I was able to go over and actually build that kind of friendship with them so you never know what might come out of WoW. I've heard of uh, people getting married because they found people that they like on WoW. So don't use WoW as a dating site, though. <laughs> you'll find you'll find that person. Ah, oh, dang it! I fell right into his trap. I didn't even pay attention to that. <laughs> All right. And there we go. We got those. Now let's go ahead and do the scorpion before we turn this in and get more quests. That gets us farther and farther away from the scorpion quest. <clears throat> See? All these people that were doing the same quest as me has quit and now these box guys are everywhere. Ah, Lord. Oops, didn't mean for that to happen. I'm gonna try to get this guy up to. I think they. Oh man, never mind. Uh, I was gonna say I'm gonna try to get this guy up to the same level as my friends, but I forgot they are uh, on a different server as me. They're on Uther. And I'm on Storm Rage. So, never mind. Alright, need two more. What is going on? There we go. Sorry. I was doing it wrong. I was placing my little totem too soon. Come on, totem. Until the totem comes back. Scorpion, where are you? Hmm. 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 Later on, with my uh, once I get my uh, pets up a higher level like a couple little groups because with pets I'll show you real fast you can only have three in your party at a time instead of like six with Pokemon so after I get all these max level I think the max level is 28 I don't know I, don't, I never had one max level but I'm gonna get a couple of them probably about nine of them max level and then after that I'm going to uh, do kind of a Pokemon journey where I go from each region and uh, 
do, uh... Sorry, I was concentrating on that scorpion. Dang it, I did it too soon. Again. Ugh, I gotta pay attention to that. Okay, never mind. I got it. Uh, anyways. So, I wanna do, like, a region thing where I go from each battle trainer to the next. And... Just do something like that. Kinda like on Pokemon where you go to gym leader, gym leader. I'm gonna do that with the battle trainers. Or whatever you wanna call them. Just beat them all. Gotta be the best. Be the best, best breast. You seek me help? Better than all the rest. What you want? This area is still a little bit low level for me. I don't want either of these. Gosh darn it. Doggy doggy. Very nice. Leveled up two times in the same area. That's cool. And there we go. What you want? Swiggy food, eh? That's all. Alright, I guess I'll take this. Stay away from the voodoo. Let's see. What does this give me? Armor. Might as well. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and grab this quest real fast. But yeah, this place is still a little bit too low level for me. I'm kind of like one shotting, two shotting. So it looks like he might be sending us. Yeah. Sending us out of here. Pick to the rider. Not that guy. To get a ride to Razor Hill. And once there, speak with whoever that is. Talk to me. Alright, Razor Hill, where is that at? Razor Hill. It hurts my soul so bad. Like right now it's fine. But in Warlords of Draenor, since they took flying out, so you can't use your flying mounts yet. It hurts my soul so bad to spend gold on flying whenever I have a flying mount. I'm just like, why? I work so hard for that. So, but right now it's all right. It's like a couple of copper to fly from place to place or whatever. So, still not good. But you know, it's better than walking or even riding on a mount sometimes. My goal with this character is to try to save up as much gold as possible because I've already got mounts and I've got flying mounts. So I'm going to try to save up as much gold as possible because later on in the game, whenever I get my flying mount, I can uh, get fast flying. And I've never had a character that has fast flying. Let me turn down this volume. Dang it, I didn't even read the quest. Okay. Uh, let's see, is this him? Oops, too much. I like to listen to the music a little bit. Not that much. There we go, that's good. It's almost the same, but it's alright. Oh, oh. oh, the horde. Okay. Oops, okay, so I can't jump out that way. <laughs> so yeah, it's like really expensive. I think it's like... 4,000 gold? Don't quote me on that. But, it, or no. I don't remember. I think it's 4,000, because I remember with my 100. I still don't even have it on my 100 guy. So that's... Blood I'm and just telling you. What am I even doing? Strength. Okay. But, anyways, I don't even have it with him because it costs so much. But it's... I think it's well worth it. See? Once you come, uh, come here as Horde, and I don't know where you get it from Human Alliance, but it's never too far away from the starting zone. You come here and talk to this guy, and he'll give you the quest to go ahead and go talk to all the people, and you'll be able to train some guys, and ooh, can't remember if I have him. I'll look. But you can buy your first pet from him and then you can also buy these stones. I've never bought them. I don't know what they do or how you how you get them really. For the but oh, I can sell some stuff. Speak, friend. Oh, is there a little bit better. There we go. 
be safe. But anyways, you can talk to him. He'll give you the quest that will let you go and do uh, do the pet battles with all the trainers and stuff like that. What and that quest is actually account wide, so it doesn't matter what character you're playing. Same. Darn, this volume's my volume's really sensitive, so I'm sorry about that. So let's see. Let me turn down dialogue. That's why. <laughs> and the dialogue turned all the way up, telling me. There we go. Now let's try. There we go. That's much better. Um, anyways, uh, the pet battles are account-wide, so that means you can be on any server, any character, any race, any faction, doesn't matter. And you'll have all your pets, so, let's see, I obviously didn't start out with, yep, I had him. Um, didn't start out with all these pets, so you collect all these pets over time, and, uh, I want that. I love foxes, but... You collect them over time, you level them up, and then you can go fight random people. I'll actually show you all these paw prints right here are actually the pet trainers, and this is, I think, hold on, maybe not, Let's see, yeah, that's one of the guys, and it'll tell you where to go and get that, and it's for both factions, like I said. Uh, I think you might have to collect it for each faction, I'm not sure. But, yep, you can go to either one of these places, both of these places. I, n I don't know about up there, actually. But I know in uh, Pandaria. And then they also have some new ones in Draenor. I've never been to Outland, so I'm not sure about Outland. Yep, oh, yep, they do. They have some. But, yeah, you just go to all those places and pet battle your hearts, or to your heart's content. So, let's go and fight some people. We'll have to watch Myron, Myron, slain. Marine. <laughs> I did not pass reading in school. Don't mind me. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Oops. Long ways over here. <sighs> Ooh, who are you, fool? Might as well go ahead and kill him. He looked at me funny. I don't appreciate it. There we go. Oh, goodness gracious, a whole horde of horde is going after that guy. But it's okay. They are all on his team. Like I said, I just absolutely love the music in this game. Alright. What you doing over there, fool? You trying to attack me? Take him out. There we go. If you guys have any questions uh, about WoW or anything like that, if I can answer it, I will try my hardest to. Um, you know. And if I can't answer it, I will try to do research for you so I can answer it for you. Mm -hmm. 
go ahead and heal. I hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, my little review on the difference between um, uh, character skins and stuff like that because I enjoyed making it. I wanted the song at the end of it though. I don't if you've seen the video. I'll put a link down at the bottom. But I wanted the song at the end. I don't know why. I guess it was upbeat and catchy. But uh, to be "Take on Me" by the Aha. But oh, of course, copyright and stuff like that. And since I'm not part of a big organization or anything like that, and I'm not trying to monetize or anything off of it, it just wouldn't let me wouldn't let me use it. So just imagine that song with the orc dancing and. Yeah, that's what I was going for. I thought it was funny. Hey guy, you dead. Yeah, you dead. You can come on back now so I can kill you. <sighs> You'll see this a lot. at the beginning. Uh, this is nowhere near as bad. Waiting on a guy like this, an enemy, is nowhere near as bad as if you walk into a city of orcs or whatever, like a lower level city, and you're just trying to turn in a dang quest. And what happens? Everybody in the city is slain because you're on a PvP server or you're just on a high population server like I am, and people from the different factions wants to be a jerk and come over and kill everybody. Nothing like that. Get away, guy. This mine. No, 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 no. You get away, fool. You jerk. You're probably gonna get it too. If you get it, I swear, I'll probably not do anything to you because I don't know where you're at. What the heck are you doing, guy? You're scaring me. Alright, I'm gonna tab it. <laughs> You're mine now, fool. I thought he hit me a lot harder because it looked like it. Thank you for the help, guy. With your BOA and level 11 self and a level 7 place. Alright. Got that. That's pretty cool. I'm glad that guy helped, actually, though. <clears throat> that fight would have took a little bit longer. Let's see. Just looking for some more of these guys to kill. Hmm. Yep, since I'm over here, might as well help. I love that guy's helmet. It's like a wolf thing, if you didn't see it. I don't know how you get it, but I've seen a couple people with it. Hmm. And then, also, what's annoying is, once you get to higher levels, and you're killing random people, random bosses and stuff, and you are playing a hunter, I mean, you're pay playing a uh, warrior, and you see this awesome crossbow that you've been waiting on for your hunter, but hey, you found it on your warrior, you know? And what do you want to do? You want to mail it over to him. And what happens? It is bound to that character. So you cannot give it away, you cannot do anything except for sell it or throw it away. That is the most annoying thing to me. I guess they have their reasons why they do it. I guess so lower level people don't get stuff automatically or you know like they don't get bad like awesome stuff for nothing for not doing any work or something uh, and it kinda forces people to play the dungeon or play whatever they were supposed to play but dang if it's not annoying I wish I would at least just make it account-wide instead of to character. 
so at least your lower level character doesn't have to go through an annoying raid or something. See, that's another one of the professions. That's herbalism. So, well, that is herbs that you can use for herbalism. Should I say? But yeah, nothing I can do about it. So I just roll with the punches. Where the heck is everybody? Guess I'll go back in the castle. Hmm. Sorry, this one's kind of boring. I'm sure there's not going to be anybody this way. It's like I got rid of all my new information in my last video. I don't have anything to talk about. That's all good. I'll just keep on looking around. How about them chairs? Might as well do another pet battle. Not gonna get very much experience, but hey. He's here and it's time to die. And like I said, just if you're a beginner, those aren't very good. They're poor. Like it goes gray, white, green, blue, I think, in the pets. Um so if you get gray it's poor, if you get or it's very poor and then if you get white it's poor and then green is good and then I wanna say blue is just rare I say rare like it's uh, like it's nothing it's rare not just rare I've found maybe after figuring out what the colors meant I found maybe one rare um, I haven't been battling a lot lately though so it's not not because they're super rare or anything. Where in the world is everybody? Should I say where in Azeroth is everybody? There we go. Yeah, I've been looking around trying to find new games and like the only thing that I find appealing on Steam right now is uh, role playing games like online MMO role playing games and stuff like that or uh, or like side-scrolling 2D games like retro games and stuff. I've been looking at Call of Duty but I'm afraid my system's not going to be able to hold up to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and plus I after which one was it? I think it was after Black Ops 1 I decided not to play Call of Duty anymore because it just was the same thing over and over and over again and I mean I already had Halo doing that um, and doing the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, so I, you know, I loved Halo because I've been playing that since the beginning. But, you know, Call of Duty wasn't as close to my heart. So I didn't feel like it was necessary to waste money on two games that the majority of it was uh, the online stuff. And then a little bit of it was a moderately decent storyline at best. So... I don't know. I might get it later on, just cause Kevin Spacey's in it, and I like Kevin Spacey, and he's a cool actor and stuff like that. Um, so I might get it just because of him, but <laughs> that's a pretty bad reason to get a game, though. Uh, especially one that you can't take to GameStop unless you buy it from GameStop, which it's gonna be more expensive on games. I mean, at GameStop. <coughs> so I'm really just waiting for my friends to get. Uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, 
uh, I really want to just play it with them. Um, last time we got Borderlands, we got it, I think we all got it at the midnight launch, and we all played Borderlands together, and yeah. Me and my one other friends left the other two in the desk, because uh, we, we were too impatient at the time and everything like that, but, you know, bygones will be bygones, and we'll play together this time through the whole entire game. Then after that, I'll I'll play s each character and play through the storyline with each character and just tell you how, or I mean, I'll let y'all watch me do it too. But uh, sharpshooter, I gotta get the sharpshooters. Okay. Uh, but I might as well go ahead and get whatever items is on him. But I'll play through each of the characters and just tell you how the, each of them play for me personally and uh, try out each of the trees and all that good stuff and get a max level so you guys know what they're like uh, just in case y'all are on the fence about playing one of the other characters if you haven't got pre-sequel yet. Um, another game that I'm looking forward to is the other Borderlands game. I can't think of the name of it right off the top of my head. but. Uh, it's kind of like the Walking Dead game, where it's like more not text-based, but you read the stuff and then the consequences uh, happen after that. So I want to play that too. That looks like a really good game. All right, let's go turn these quests in. Kill these guys or this guy. That fool. Thank you. And an FYI, if you guys are playing PC games, and whether you just started and you are playing and planning for sure uh, to continue your uh, career in PC gaming, or even if you're just like me where you're casually gaming and then you have to like work or whatever on the side, I definitely recommend getting a actual good gaming mouse. Uh, I'm working on getting a good keyboard too. Uh, I'm hoping for Christmas or something like that I'll be able to afford it. Uh, but I definitely recommend getting a good key, uh, mouse. I can't say anything about a keyboard because right now I'm working on a just old school, I think 2000 something Dell uh, out of the box uh, keyboard. But once I get mine, I'll do an unboxing, and then I'll show you, uh, or I'll tell you about some of the stuff that it does and all that good stuff. But anyways, right now I'm working with a Naga, 2014 Naga mouse, and I mean, it's so nice. I love it so much. Uh, it's super responsive. Uh, hold on. Darn it. I really don't. I guess I'll take the blade. But anyways, it's super responsive. I mean, you can see my mouse. My brother-in-law actually makes fun of me. He says it looks like I'm on crack or something like that because I just work with a super fast mouse. But you can customize it anyway. Oh, ooh, I don't want that. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather have an axe. Oh, but I'm losing. I'm losing it. Huh. I'll work with this for a second and see how it is. People that are actually good at this game, not me, are going to be raging at me like, what the heck are you doing, guy? But anyways, back to the mouse. So, the mouse just makes it so much easier. Uh, it makes it where you can cast and run at the same time as long as a spell or whatever is uh, capable of doing that. So, mostly as a hunter, you can do the cast, I mean, do the shooting, casting. Uh, and run at the same time instead of having to press W like run with W or run with the uh, arrows which hardly anybody ever does because it's just easier to run with uh, WASD and hit space to jump and everything but it keeps it where you don't have to sit there and run and then try to finagle your ring finger or finagle your pointer finger up to the uh, one two three four buttons and all that good stuff. Instead, you have your buttons on your 
on the side of your mouse where your uh, thumb rest so it's I mean it's right there it's usable uh, usable space so and it has 12 buttons 12 keys and it corresponds with the 12 uh, numbers that you have up at the top and then it also has like two little buttons right under the uh, mouse wheel and then it has two buttons inside the mouse wheel um, and then of course the two clickers and that's what I call them I don't know what they're really called the ref uh, right and left click buttons um, and you can use any of those as uh, as a hotkey or anything like that so it's really nice to just have a really good mouse um, my wife has the I want to say cataclysm no not cataclysm uh, what is it I can't remember but it's an actual wow mouse and it's good uh, it's slow to me personally um, my brother-in-law thinks it's comfortable but and she thinks it's comfortable so that's all that matters as long as she thinks it's comfortable it's fine but to me it's really slow and the button configuration is a little bit weird to me because it's like it has one two three four buttons on the side and then it has one two three on the underneath the mouse wheel and then it has one on the other side so just for me it's kinda weird but for her she likes it she loves it what you gonna do about it um, and like I said with that you can hotkey any of those and uh, they correspond with the numbers on her uh, on her keyboard and all that good stuff so me and her are both wanting the Razer uh, Black Widow as our keyboard. Um, it's expensive though. It's 134, I want to say, but it's worth it. A good keyboard's worth it. And the main reason I'm saying the keyboard is worth it is because. Um, whenever I'm playing, usually it's later at night, so my wife goes to sleep early because she has to wake up at, like, what, 9 o'clock in the morning? And I don't have to wait, or I don't, I wake up before, but I don't have to really get up until 1 o'clock, so, because I don't have to go into work until 2. So, I'm sitting here trying to play in the dark and I can't even see the keys on my keyboard, so having a backlit keyboard would be so helpful. Um... So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully I can afford it by then. And my disclaimer for after Christmas will be uh, I do have a wife, a daughter, and new to my family, a dog. I'm going to get a little long-haired Dotson. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. We're naming her Evie. She's a long-haired red miniature Dotson. So she kind of looks like an Evie. And we're really excited for her. We've already got her a bed and all kinds of stuff. Um, so I can say we have two babies running around. And hopefully I'll be doing well, I probably will be doing some unboxing of uh, some of my Christmas presents, just, you know, just because. I don't even know if I'm getting anything, but anything that I do get, I'll show it to you guys and all that good stuff. And you guys, uh, show me videos of what you got. And if you don't want to show me a video, that's fine. Just uh, leave down in the comments what you got. Um, I would love to know. Yeah, this this little toothpick isn't doing me justice. I'm sure it's actually doing more damage than what I'm thinking it does, but seeing this big old orc with this just is not eye appealing to me. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm vain whenever it comes to stuff like that. There we go. Look at that. Looks manly. Whoa! Turn the wrong way. Alright guys, I might cut this video a little bit short of 10, level 10, I don't know. Because it feels like it's running kind of long, um, and I don't want it to take too long to get up on YouTube, so. My videos might not be able to jump from level 10 to 
I mean level 5 to 10 or 10 to 20 or whatever because after you get to uh, after you get higher level like it took me forever it probably took me a week off and on to get up to level 90 I mean to level 100 from level 90 probably not no level 97 to level 100 sorry it took me about a week of just off and on trying to get up to it and all that good stuff so it was a pain in the butt but I did it I surely did it but I'm wanting this guy to be well maybe not this guy but I want this specific guy to be my first level natural 100 recorded so that will be exciting he might not be my first level 100 naturally because my first level 100 was the uh, uh, Draenor free level 90 guy and then I leveled him up to level 100 which still was a process I'm not saying it like it's easy trust me um, if you're a noob and you earned your way up to level 100 you still earn that right um, not like a person that went from level 1 all the way to 100 and played all the expansions and all that good stuff but it's not easy um, and they still have a long ways to go after that because then they have to do those big raids and everything and it's scary I like good stuff if you're not used to it. I've never done a raid so I'm terrified of doing a raid I'm trying to get one of my characters high enough. I think I have one that's high enough uh, to do a raid before I do the classic um, oh, I've done raids let me rephrase that but I did them at extremely high levels where me and my friend two manned them and like owned everything but <clears throat> Alright, we'll turn in these two quests and then we'll go to the next place. <laughs> and then, I think after I get to that quest, I think I'm gonna, uh, call it a, call it a video after that and try to get it up. Um, you see it's still technically Monday. Still technically Monday. Barely. So I'm probably not gonna get up by, by the end of Monday, but... It's alright. I'll have it up on Sunday, and this will be a Monday night gaming session that was uploaded on Sunday. I mean, on, uh, sorry, Tuesday. Um, but, yeah, I'm really scared of doing raids. I don't know why. Uh, I don't want to do LFR, but I don't really have a guild that I've ever played with. So, yeah. It'll be all right, I suppose. I hope. Hmm. Someday I'll do a video where me and my wife are playing together too, uh, just so y'all can kind of hear her and see what she's like and everything. She's kind of violent, but it's okay. That's why I love her. Sometimes she's violent for the wrong reasons or not a good reason, but it's all right. All right, there we go. Dang it! See where she's wanting us to go. All right, right over here. That's fine. I'll turn in this quest real fast. Yeah, you guys have time uh, before Christmas. If y'all want, y'all can tell me what y'all want for Christmas. And then after Christmas, uh, you can either leave it in this Monday's video or next Monday's video of what you got. Or not. You know what I mean. Sometime after Christmas, you can post the, vi uh, the comment or video of what you got for Christmas. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. I have my two front teeth. I'm just kidding. Oops. What do you need? Go forth. I need you not to yell at me next time, man. All right. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop right up here. Call it a night. Call it a video. Let's do it somewhere cool. Right in front of this doorway. There we go. Get the nice little sunset and everything out there in the tree and my little Corey's face. But 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this was Chevy D doing a level 5 to level 8. It was kind of slower than expected. Eight and a half almost, should I say. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, hopefully my next video. I hope. I pray. Because I really want to play this uh, role playing game with you guys and everything. Uh, so I hope it's my role playing video. If not, I will see you on next Monday, which will be Let's see. Let us see. Next Monday will be the 22nd. I have a Christmas party that day. So, again, it might be like this one where it's a little bit later. Uh, or it might be on Tuesday. But I will record on Monday. Or I might record on Sunday and get it on Monday. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, it probably will be on Sunday and I will get it up on Monday. But... So I will see you next Monday, and hopefully before then. I might do a little video like I was telling you guys about with the small rant about the video game. Uh, I'm going to leave it unnamed for right now. Uh, but I might have that video up. I will have that video up by next week. Um, and then I might have the one that me and Blow are playing the RPG game. And then next week I'll have my next Monday game up and hopefully I'll be able to get up to let's see what's a good one 8, 9, 10, 11 I'm gonna shoot for level 11 next time uh, so I'll get past the single digit threshold next video so you guys have a great day, night, morning, whatever you're in and I will see you guys next time I love you. bye